Oh, howdy all. Grab yourself a beer. It's time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today, I wanted to put out another little update on the Elementalist Reap build that I started at for League Start, which has since morphed into a build that is primarily using Corrupting Fever as a clear skill. Now, the last time that I did an update on this, I was sort of having a little bit of trouble with uh, both clear speed and with damage in various spots, and I think I've fixed most of that. So currently, I'm sitting in a situation where I have all of the non-expensive upgrades, uh, but there are some, ex some major expensive upgrades available. The big thing that I've changed is I've picked up an Impulse's Broken Heart. Now the one that I'm using is a six link. Uh, however, you will get very similar rea uh, very similar results by using a five link. And in fact, I might just take one uh, I might just take one support gem out of this. So now this is a five link Impulse's Broken Heart uh, rather than a six link for the purposes of making this video. The other change that I got is two cold iron points, and this was a massive one. I'm squishier than I used to be. Uh, I no longer have a shield providing me with some incidental block uh, and a bunch of other life and resistances. However, in its place, uh, I am getting a tremendous amount of damage. Plus six to the level of all physical spell skill gems is boosting my uh, is boosting my corrupting fever from level 21 to 27, uh, and that's massive. The other big upgrades I got, Corrupting Fever, uh, I got a 21.23 version. 21.20 is fine, uh, and 21.20 will cost you about 50 chaos. I think I got this at a steal for 85 chaos. Uh, I think this could have been, you know, a two exalt gem. Uh, so, you know, just make do with a 21.20 if you if you can't afford this. Uh, and for that matter, just make do with a 20, with a level 20 no quality one until you can afford that. Uh, the other thing is that these gloves have the socketed gems deal 30% more damage over time, which is an essence craft. Otherwise, I'm not really using anything particularly valuable. I have a solid life resist helmet uh, with plus three to the level of all socketed minion gems. This is strong, uh, but you could use a weaker version, and that's boosting a lot of my golems. Otherwise, uh, I think let's actually just demonstrate the clear speed. So the key interaction that we have here is that since I took my Eternal Labyrinth, uh, I have gone with Shaper of Winter and Shaper of Storms. I have ditched Bastion of Elements. Bastion of Elements is still good. Certainly wouldn't fault someone uh, eliminating Shaper of Winter and taking Shaper of Storms. So what this causes me to do is everything that I hit is shocked because of Shaper of Storms. As long as I deal uh, not an amount of damage that's not totally in inconsequential. In, a, in particular, this means that physical damage that I deal with Reap is capable of shocking. Now, with Impulse's Broken Heart, when I kill an enemy that is currently shocked, that enemy explodes. That enemy attempts to deal 5% of its life as lightning damage, which cannot shock to all surrounding enemies. However, because of Cold Iron Point, it instead deals a hit that deals zero damage. However, it is still a hit, and it causes Corrupting Fever to trigger, and that is the key interaction that makes the build work. Now, so what this means is that Corrupting Fever can spread itself to some extent. You're not getting massive chains, uh, you're not getting massive chain reactions, but you're getting considerable amounts. So let's demonstrate. I'm going to take this uh, take this secondary regrading lens out for a walk. Uh, always happy to see these in heists. This is just a low level heist, but it'll give you a sense as to what uh, the what the build feels like when you're slaughtering massive amounts of trash monsters. So you'll notice I'm using Void Sphere and Stormbrand to trigger a lot of hits quickly with Corrupting Fever, uh, and that also in conjunction with my Flame Dash, which also is a, a movement skill that hits means that I'm getting a lot of incidental little hits on enemies. Uh, those are triggering a lot of uh, stacks of Corrupting Fever quickly, uh, especially with Stormbrand being linked to chain support, which means that it's proliferating through large packs. If I have a particularly tough enemy, uh, what I can do instead is hit it with a Reap. Uh, that will then shock it and cause the enemy usually to be one shot. Uh, and when it is one shot, uh, then it will also explode on death inflicting Corrupting Fever on everything nearby it as well, including things that Reap might have missed. That's only one stack of Corrupting Fever, but that tends to be enough for the trash mobs. Uh, the other thing I really like is the effect that you have on uh, enemies that spawn in close proximity to each other. And again, this is the spot in the Grand Heist that will have the biggest density of monsters. Uh, so if I just take these monsters for a little bit of a wander around in circles, uh, you'll see that as they respawn, uh, they're getting they're getting tapped by the storm brand, and then that's electrocuting everything around them. So uh, that's the core mechanics of the build. Uh, how's it feeling in terms of bossing? Uh, I got down Cirrus uh, only at Awakening level five so far. 
Uh, it's fundamentally it's the same fight at higher awakening levels. Uh, game performance was pretty bad, so I stuck to five at first, although that has improved a bit. Microsoft had a big problem with a Windows update uh, that has, I believe, people are reporting it's been rectified in the last uh, sort of 10 hours before I'm recording this video. Uh, and so that has fixed a lot of the problems that people were having with getting really bad performance in Path of Exile. Uh, anyways, uh, that gives you a bit of a sense as to how it looks in lower tier content. Uh, higher tier content is pretty similar, except for the fact that I'm extremely squishy, which means that when I get hit, I die. Uh, so I need to be playing technically and quite carefully. Uh, and when I try and do that when I'm recording a video, I always end up getting splattered. Uh, but that should give you a bit of a sense of the play style. Uh, in terms of overall power, how do I feel about the build now? Uh, without going to the higher end expenses of getting something like a Primordial Chain, uh, an Arnima Stone, two Primordial Eminences, to, uh, and then the other cluster jewels I want to take this build a bit to the next level, uh, I feel like the performance is solid but unspectacular. If you're looking for a powerhouse build that will decimate all content in the game, this isn't it. But if you're looking for a build that can be used to take down, you know, Shaper Guardians, Shaper, Cirrus, Elder, all that tier of content at medium investment, low to medium investment, the sort of thing that I'm at at the moment, you know, 500 Chaos in total gear, uh, at least 500 Chaos when I'm using this as a 5 link, when I'm using it as a 6 link, it's a bit more. Um, then this is a build that's been a lot of fun. If it looks like a fun play style, give it a go. Uh, if not, it's not so powerful that you should feel compelled to use it or anything like that. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for the moment. Uh, I will probably be doing some Twitch streaming later. Uh, so maybe I will see you over there.